please like this video, leave a comment, and don't forget to share. Alright, welcome to Scanny TV once again. Daniel Kofichre has scored his 11th goal of the season. Fantastic. Against Werder Bremen in the German Bundesliga 2. Adam, we need to look at it very well and talk about it. So, let me get your like, subscribe to the channel, put on the bell beside the subscribe button below there for more updates on this channel. We will also look at Andy Yadom. He is also on hot form. Last week, I gave you an update and today, he has provided an assist for his team, FC Reading, in the championship. Then, after that, we will also go into another striker. Talking about Antoine Semenyo, I've also given you a video on him before. We'll look at him, he is back from injury and um, today he is on the bench for Bristol City in the championship. This and many more we have for you on Scanny TV. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, put on the bell for more. Let's begin. Alright, so today it was the match day 29 in the German Bundesliga 2. It was St. Pauli versus Werder Bremen and St. Pauli had to get a one-all draw in this game. Yes, Daniel Kovicic scored the first goal, fantastic goal from him before Veda Bremen equalized. And you can see his statistics in the match. Yes, he had 90 minutes playing time, 64 touches, 30 passes completed, 5 ground balls won, 4 out of 5 dribbles completed, and 4 out of 5 long balls, and it continues. He scored one goal as well in the match. And um, his performance was super, super, super. So you can see his heat map here. In the game, he covered everywhere on the pitch. <laughs> Talking about Daniel Kovic, he is a fantastic player and it's good for him to get in form for the Black Stars of Ghana as well. So, you can see they are all his team that's in Palace on third position in the German Bodies League 2 behind Werder Bremen and Shaka 04. So, let's continue to talk about him. Now, Daniel Kovic today has scored his 11th goal of the season and um, he has provided 9 assists. In the German Bundesliga 2 already, so contributing a total goal of 20 in the Bundesliga 2, and this is a good news from the Ghanaian International. Let's go to Andy Yadom and talk about him. Yes, Andy Yadom last week I gave you an update that he played very well. He was the second highly rated player, and today he provided an assist to Lucas Jao in um Reading's first goal in the championship match that they played today. So he is back and um, it's good to get him back when he played against the Super Eagles of Nigeria. When he came off the bench in the second half, you all saw the performance that he put up and it's good for him over there. So, let's talk about um, Antoine Semenyo as well. Yes, Antoine Semenyo is back and um, Semenyo is on the bench today for Bristol City in their championship match. Yes, um, he got injured when Ghana invited him to the last World Cup um, playoff against the Super Eagles of Nigeria, both Ghana and Nigeria um, legs, the, the two legs over there. Unfortunately, he got injured in time he was about to recover. Um, the game against West Bromwich Albion too, he was substituted just about six minutes and he is now back on bench for them and this is a good news for Blasters of Ghana. So, these are the latest news and a quick update I decided to come your way with. Daniel Kovic scoring his 11th goal of the season. And Andy Yadom also giving an assist um, over there for FC Reading. Then Anson Semenyo also returning back to the field. So these are the three names I decided to come away with. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't put on the bell for more updates on Oskeni TV. And um, until we meet later, bye bye. Please subscribe to the channel and put on the notification for more.